Punks Australia shows eight episode tour. Photos escaping tale. Your pace is good, said Photo. Your maker will ask me to live here to help with the newest paperwork. On my working days in England was good until someone got me out of the job. This is where my escaping tale goes. Oh, another tale. Do we all know about photo from the young days in 1929? No. Well, I'll tell you what his tale is like. Once upon a time, in 1920, Photo was made. He was a mule's paper car delivering papers. His maker and driver was Sir Jock Fair He did his work for many years and had been getting old. This was happening to him when, in 1984, he was sick, or not sick. He was when he finished his son was asked from him to take his place, then went to bed and died. This is how my life went. His son did some newspaper work on his third first day when my engine went hot. Right in front of me were some men who were his worst enemies named Rip and Whip. This was a chance of theirs they were waiting for. <laughs> Your mother and father have died, so we're going to take you to our place. No police will ever find you and us when we kill you. No plan a crook world with no laws. Get the man right. They kidnapped us and took us to the house hidden in the woods. I was potting the shed to get taken to the museum after they burned the newspapers. The man pod was locked in a room so he wouldn't get out. Until next day, Rip told him I was sent to the museum. Pod knew they hated him and his parents. So he decided to deal with his enemies to get me out. We didn't tear you up. We locked you on the room so you wouldn't get out. Escape. Yeah. What he said. Whip and Rip went back into the down room to celebrate the crook work. How dare they treat me like this, said Pod told himself. They burnt me in school. And now they have plotted to kill my parents and me. They're doing it because they hate us. I'll have to shut them up by burning the house of theirs. Or maybe I'll, yes, talk to their mother about them before they 
killed her. She said one day, you can sort them out. They're nothing but brats. I think I'll call the police. There's a house number. It's at the end of the drive. I saw they t before they took me in. Pod looked round the room. He knew the door was locked. But there was an upstairs window. He went over and checked to see if it was open. I hope it's big enough, he thought. He opened the window and looked how high he was. The window was less high, but he needed to find the phone when escaping. He also needed to the latter's enemies. He was going to play trick on them. If I tapped the floor, they might come up to see I'm not here. I hope they don't see me. He tapped the floor, then slipped out through the window. and head to wait for his enemies to see he was not here. Suddenly he stopped. Something about this house looked familiar. He found the number of it tall. This house he saw on his way to school was his enemy's hideout. A number and a dress were 79 Yiko Ward. The enemies weren't clever at all. I'll sneak away after read the dress and find photo. I'll see if the police can sneak to the house without being seen. He walked to the end of the drive and called the police while walking on to find the village museum. He was alone when he arrived in the town and after talking to the police, he searched for the museum. The museum I saw it was in the middle, he thought. Aha, there it is. Hmm. I'll have to plan a trip to Australia. And when we are out there, we better hide in the house of my aunt's. He came to the door of the museum. It was still unlocked. The calm museum shed doors. I'll have to get myself and photo out of the clear. And get back on the job of delivering the newspapers. He was just about to get in when he saw Whip and Rip coming. They were coming into the town to look for him. He quietly went in. He locked in the room of cars trying to find photo. There was a torch. He picked it up and switched it on. Photo, he whispered, shouted, where are you? In here.
here in front of you. Oh, there you are. I'm glad to have your back, Shio. What were you doing in the museum? Well, the engine was not fixed, so whipping me put me in here for no, a no punishment reason. I'm cold, so you'll make a check if it's still working. Okay. Well, let's move. Quick. We haven't much time. He already left the doors open, but we waited for Whippinwith to come there. They were. Oh, sorry, looking at them. There you are, you little brat. Now we got to. But the police came up. They were told some part to stop them in the town. Okay, Foto. Now's our chance to live in Australia. We'll find new life. Great. We waited for the police to take the cocks away, and once they were gone, we left to find our getaway ship to get to Australia. House, house and sunshine were silent. Did Tom Potts on Bertie's head? asked Percy. Oh yes, and he returned to work as a postman. His story was a secret which is shared with all of us. I'll tell you of it. And please, Pothole lives in perfectly safe. Person Sunshine could only agree. Thank you. 